Rez, the last time you fought, obviously, you uh, came up short against Norman Park in Dublin. You were very disappointed, and you talked potentially about retiring. Um, is that something that's going to be on your mind after coming off a win tonight? Never forget about it. Before I stepped to the octagon, I said, wow, fuck, I'm so nervous. This needs to be my last time. But, you know, after victory, you know, I had a so hard time behind me. It was exactly three years ago. My life changed over one night. Lost everything. And, you know, it's so difficult to come back, try, put your, um, your best and lost, lose your fight and that way it takes so much time and uh, you know your power but it's so nice and good to be back here tonight and winning that way. So how does it feel then obviously coming off of that and then getting the TKO finish here? I cannot describe that feeling don't even ask me that question well I still feel I'm... You look very emotional it's probably the, the most emotional we've ever ever seen you. Right now I, I feel mean, like I believe I can fly. No, exactly. It's that feeling I have. Hey, Reza, was there any conflict in the second round when he started? It was the most bizarre start to a round. You guys were almost going to give high fives, and it led to hugs. Usually in mad dog mode. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, people think I'm an asshole. So when he don't want, I don't want to shake his ass. I'm both, sorry, my language. That fuck it. Let us just fight. I'm so tired about it. Just come in and punch me in the face. And when I start to hear the, uh, the crawl, the, the, the ass of that. Do you really think I'm that kind of guy? So okay, let's go. Give me a high five. And then I realize everybody get happy. I said, fuck it, give me a hug. <laughs> and I saw his eyes, I swear. He said, you really want to give me a hug? You don't want to punch me? I said, no, come on. You know, we need to do that kind of stuff to show the, show the world. We have the MMA fans and we have people outside the MMA fans. A lot of people, they don't understand. We do it with the love. So we need, we must do that kind of stuff to show. It's just a sport for us. After we punch each other in the face, slice each other. Your friends, is just love, yes. You Obviously, the, the fight a little bit. In the first round, it seemed like your wrestling was just getting the complete better of him. He wasn't able to get any takedowns. When he did get it on the ground, though, he was very good got getting to your back. Were any stage there you were worried, or were you calm throughout? Uh, like I said before, I knew Yanka is a, if I don't have Ron, he's a two times world champion Jiu Jitsu. He's really, really, has really good ground game. But I train a lot of, you know, hole in my game. Start from that position, especially when he get the back. So I wasn't worried, but everything can happen in the fight. So I just want to keep it stand up. And it was my plan to the end of every uh, round, take him down and uh, win the round. So talk, talk about the finish, though, because it's very rare. It's very good to see the referee standing in and stopping a TKO when the guy is still on his feet and able to defend himself. Were you happy with the stoppage or think it could have been done a little bit sooner or later? No, I, I always respect the referee's judgment. But if you watch the game again closer, one time closer, you're going to see his legs. He was, he was totally gone, I saw his eyes when I started to punch him. And you know, those referees, they do this every time, every day. So they, they know when they need to stop there. My job is to go there and fight. And I do it well. No. And the referee's job is to stop and judge the fight. Was, was the uppercut kind of the secret weapon in the, in the striking? Or were you looking to, how were you looking to get inside and, and land damage? You know, after every fight, I try to do my... Because a lot of people say, ah, you are your age against you. I'm 37 years old. If two months, one month, one and a half months, I'm going to get 38. So every time I step to the new uh, camp, I try my best to be better and better and better. And this time, I work so much on my stand-up game. Uh, especially uppercut because I need to, I, I love to come close to my opponent and use my boxing, dirty boxing and it was wonderful, wonderful to get that victory. So, so what's next for Reza? We saw the documentary and um, yes. your manager for on some of the media guys and we got to see it. You were contemplating retirement. Are you going to take it sort of day by day now, see what happens, go home, talk things over actually, with your family? Yeah, actually it's like this. Many people ask me that question and 
you need to understand. When I come back, my last fight, it was so emotional. It was, he told me don't be so emotional when you get to the press conference, but you guys need to understand, I had a hell behind me. Came back, lose my fight, I have two kids. Uh, so. Your mind's in a different place now, obviously, that you right know, it's now, time's and, passed. And retirement is not even, yeah. and don't even talk about it because I know I really believe to God from my heart and now God has a plan for us, everybody, whatever we do. So now I just want to go back home to my kids, uh, be with them, uh, take it easy one week, then get back to the club because I belong to my club and when I come there I feel so good. So I try if UFC give me opportunity to book me out for UFC in Germany. I'm going to be very happy. So let's see what's happened. Do you have any message for your Swedish fans? Not just for my Swedish fans, for my fans around the world. Uh, thanks for those guys always, they support me. And thanks to the haters, because they motivated me every day, every single day. Uh, and I don't want to put my focus, my energy, to the bad stuff, you know, to the haters and stuff. I just always try to focus on uh, people like him, this guy, my management team, my coaches, uh, my wonderful teammate, one of them, Alexander Gustafsson. He was close to cry. My coaches, my wonderful wife, my kids, send them my best regards and yeah, just be positive. Thanks, Reza. Appreciate Thank it.